All right, everyone, welcome to episode nine of the Max Bloom versus the High Bay LED light. Uh, today in this video, we're gonna be talking about the overall growth and what's happening with these two tomato plants. Uh, you can probably kind of already tell what I'm pointing out here. We're also gonna look at node spacing and I also wanna throw up some thermal pictures uh, that you might find interesting. I took it with my thermal camera and I know you're gonna ask what the thermal camera I'm using. It's the Seek uh, Thermal Reveal Pro. It's the handheld model, it's not the type that you plug into your phone. Um, you can look that up online if you're interested in that camera. We're gonna post those pictures up in a little bit, but first I wanna talk about uh, what's going on with these plants. Let me go ahead and turn off the Max Bloom here. And I got this white light on there on this side. This, this is just for the video. I don't have this in here normally. Um, so as you can see, I get a different angle here, you can kind of see that this plant under the white light has fell over. Now, I know tomato plants are normally something you put in a cage or you stake up or you, or you string up. I, I, I completely understand that. I know some people are gonna say that I'm an idiot because uh, that's what they naturally do. Okay, so what I'm talking about here is, um, in the past when I've used red, blue LED and white LED lights, the white LED uh, always provided better results with the structure of the stem of the plant when it comes to tomato plants. While the one over, uh, like on here, the red-blue light, it was always a softer stem, weaker. It would always fall over before the white light side. And that's not what's happened in, in this. And, and to keep in mind also that the light output for both of these lights is the same at the canopy, except for since this has just fallen over, um, now this one's just a little bit lower than this one, which means that now this one has an advantage over this one. So I am going to correct this. But the reason why I'm talking about this is because um, this ties into the elongation. Uh, this really doesn't have much to do with the weakness of the stem. Uh, it has to do with this plant being actually taller than this one. This one was a little more top heavy, so naturally it fell over first. Uh, this one here, they're, although they're the, almost the same size, this one actually is starting to lean a little bit. Um, if I can get down to a little bit this way, you can see the lean happening already. So it's not as top heavy as the other one because the stem hasn't elongated as much. And when I say elongated, I don't mean it's unnaturally elongating. Uh, it's, it's growing how it normally would, except the one under the max bloom is a little more compact because of the excess blue light, which helps restrict the vertical growth. But you can see here clearly that uh, the stem here is about the same size and I can I can almost kind of push it over. If this was just a little bit taller, like the one on the white light side, this would fall over too. But that's not what's happening. But it's it's right on the verge of being too top heavy. So where this one under the white light is fallen, is fallen way over. It's, it's starting to kind of curve back up already, and that will happen within actually a few hours after it falls over. But um, but if I pick it up here and you know, I kind of compare it. It's kind of hard to do because my, my arms are only so long. Um, you can see that the there's a lot more foliage on here as well. These branches here, I'm just going to refer to them as branches. Uh, they stick out. They're a lot longer, a lot heavier, and this plant is taller. As far as the growth stage, like uh, you know, how many nodes and everything there are, they're basically identical, except the one under the max bloom side is more compact. Uh, so I brought my measuring tape, and we're, we're just going to measure the first and second node. And the first node we are looking at, let's just start from the first actual node here. Um, we are looking at roughly half an inch, and then from the second one to the third one, it's about an inch. And then we're going to go over to the max bloom side, and we're gonna measure from the first node to the second node. Like I said, this is the first real node, um, not the uh, not the ovum leaves down here. And we're looking at about a quarter inch on the first one, and then from the first to the second, uh, it looks like about it's roughly a half an inch. Um, so you can see that there is a lot more 
compactness to this plant. Uh, you can see by the, the top nodes here, um, although these haven't really stretched out yet, so I, it's not really quite fair to measure the top ones, but you can just kind of look at it. You can see uh, it's, it's pretty compact. They're very tight node spacing. Go over back to this one, and you can see it's just a little bit longer. The nodes are just a little bit more stretched out. They both have these. They both have these little new shoots by each node, both sides of these. Um, although these, it's, it seems like, are growing a little bit more. I would, if I had to make any kind of ob observation about that, it looks like they uh, are a little bit more mature of a feeder. I am going to string this this one up now, or stake it up. Uh, to make sure that we're having you know a fair comparison but I always like letting it do that I like I like seeing what happens to the structure in the beginning I don't want to just stake the plants up because it's important to kind of be able to know what's going on and uh, you know get information from that uh, so I'm gonna throw these thermal picks up on the video here so you can see the max bloom is running a lot cooler than the passively cooled high bay uh, now that's naturally going to happen because the high bay is it's passively cooled. There's no cooling fan on it to where the max bloom is It's got a, a pretty good heat sink in it and fans are running on it. So the light itself Physically the light itself runs cooler and if you take a look underneath the light uh, the max bloom light You can see that there's two LEDs on either side that are uh, a little bit brighter looking and and that is Because those are the infrared lights that are running a little bit warmer uh, and then if you just take a, another look at the plants here You can see that pretty much both plants are at about the same temperature So you can see the leaves are pretty cool being the dark black color So you, you can see that they're pretty much even there's not really much of a difference in um, Transpiration of the plants. So that's it. We'll see you in episode 10. Thanks for watching